With a positive start, the wheat crop across Oklahoma is maturing nicely. But as we get moisture, possible complications in the field start to rise. Bob Hunger examines a patch of wheat near Apache, Oklahoma, and helps producers consider fungicides. If you take a look at a field like this one, and from the surface, if you're just driving by on the road, it uh, looks nice and green and healthy, and, and it is on the surface. But uh, in a field like this, you have to uh, go down to the soil to see what uh, is occurring in this field. And of course, this is a no-till field, and so on the, the soil surface, you have the residue from last year. And uh, that residue, of course, that crop would have been infected with tan spot, and then you get the residue with uh, these black resting uh, bodies uh, resulting that contain the spores of the fungus that causes tan spot. Over the fall and winter those mature and then when you get into February and early March the spores started to be released from that that infected the lower leaves and will continue to move up the canopy if there's enough moisture and the, the right temperature conditions. With spring moisture, the movement of tan spot and other diseases can be prevented with the use of fungicide if applied early enough. Early spray, fungicide spray, either at full or reduced rate uh, to control a disease like tan spot, septoria, and powdery mildew is, is quite justified. And as you can see from the tire tracks, this producer chose to put that early application on because there is a lot of tan spot down in the lower, lower leaves of this, this field. They really should wait to see how severe it's going to be because it is going to take moisture, rainfall, to, to get those diseases developing. Of course, there are pros and cons to every situation. Good rainfall means good crop yield, but a prime environment for disease. Excess of moisture will, will probably hurt the uh, wheat more than uh, uh, the diseases. Uh, the, the diseases need moisture. There's really none of them that uh, uh, operate in the absence of moisture in the drought. I, the drought years have been extremely quiet years because there just isn't the disease that develops uh, in those kinds of years. On the other side of the coin, it's the years where we do have uh, good moisture uh, that are going to provide the best wheat crop and those are the years that uh, foliar diseases can be the most severe. As wheat grows towards maturity, so does the possibility for complications. For SUNUP, I'm Dave Deacon.